I'm just working on a review of the Doji rugged phone. It's the V20, and obviously you have to install all your apps and get it going again. That's a fresh phone. And it came into a little issue. The DJI Mimo app is no longer in the Play Store. It's been removed due to security concerns. I find this quite interesting because other DJI apps are still in the store. They all basically are sending the same kind of information to and from uh, DJI. Uh, these are Chinese servers that really get stored on, obviously. It's a Chinese company. Um, but Google... <laughs> Google have decided it's a security concern because it's tracking too much data on you. <laughs> well, if that ain't the pot calling the kettle black, I don't know what is. Um, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, it's the, the same things like, it, well, I'll show you this article here. Now, this is from before the app was removed from the store. This is from Riverloop Security. <clears throat> there is some genuine concerns here about the kind of information that is being shared with DJI, but I can assure you it, it's no more than the kind of information that's being shared by Google, and collected by Google and sold on by Google. So I just find it a little bit ironic that uh, Google, <laughs> Google <laughs> have removed this. Uh, the Chinese drone manufacturer, Dajiang Innovations, I bet you didn't know that's what DJI stood for, did you? I didn't. Uh, recently donated hundreds of unmanned aircraft and accessories to US law enforcement organizations to help enforce stay at home orders during the COVID 19 pandemic. Police in 22 states accepted these drones and began using them. Anyway, it's going on about, you know, like how they're helping with state surveillance. Well, that state surveillance is being done by the American government, and that's where the concern should be. But it led the this River Loop security to investigate, you know, what, what these things are doing. Uh, we reviewed the DJI Mimo's apps binaries and observed the network traffic between the internet and mobile devices using the app. We could not investigate everything, but did make several discoveries that may be of concern to US citizens and companies using DJI products and policymakers concerned about national security. We hope you'll read the entire post, but if you're in short time, here is an overview of what we found. Well, we'll just get the TLDR, shall we? <laughs> too, too long, didn't read. DJI's Memo app uses libraries that request personal data about users' religious and political affiliation, as well as security settings from connected social network APIs. Now, firstly, it's from Facebook that it gets this from. Um, Facebook obviously collects and shares this kind of information with the US government and other governments around the world. Um, they just have to pay for it, as, as, as my understanding, and they get all this. Well, if you are willing to put your political affiliations in your profile on Google and Facebook, you're obviously happy for them to be public. And if you're not, then don't put them in there. Don't don't even use Facebook. This is a security concern of Facebook. Not DJI. They're collecting that same information that, that Facebook are obviously sharing. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to get it from Facebook. So that's not a, con a security concern as far as I'm concerned for DJI, yeah, they're collecting it. Why the hell are they collecting it? You know, that they shouldn't be, but they're getting it from Facebook. The DJI Memo app sends data through insecure means to servers between the Great Firewall of China, <laughs> where it is accessible. You can see it from space, you know, where it is accessible to the Chinese government. <laughs> well, 
so also all your information is accessible to the Chinese government from Facebook because they can just buy it. The DJI Memo app requests from users via the OS access to find and course location data, the ability to manipul manipulate Wi-Fi state and read SMS messages and read logs. Well, it uses your location to geotag pictures. Um, other than that, why, why it would need to send this information back? Again, it's just governments collecting information. Every government does it. And every company that can possibly collect and sell that data to the government is doing it. You're being tracked 24-7 on your mobile phone on your computer at home, your laptops, anything you use. As soon as you connect to a Wi-Fi network, there's private companies that collect your MAC address and make that available publicly to people so that they can get location services from just your MAC address and stuff like that. It, it's The whole world is collecting this information on you. Why the hell we're singling out DJI on this? I don't understand. Um, let's go back to this article. Um, it, it, it just goes on. Look, look, here, 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 here they go on about the third party analytics providers. DJI Memo utilizes third party analytics tools by Mobtech, Google's Crash, Crashlytics, and others. Mobtech is a Chinese analytics company. Which only which openly operates with the Chinese government, as to Google, uh, with the U.S. government, as started in their public, as stated in their public policies. The DJI Memo app collects a very broad array of information from users' phones, ranging from carrier and network information to hardware usage, geolocation data. Much of this data is sent unencrypted to Mobtech and thus is easily visible to any entity positioned to view the user's network traffic. So if somebody has already hacked into your network, they can see what this information is that's going out. If they've already hacked into your network, you've got bigger problems. Doesn't matter that they send in this information. It's just ridiculous. Uh, this is just fair porn all the way, and this is what the world's run on at the moment. Um, look, at, at, at the end of the day, I don't trust any company at all that, that collects information on you, uh, and they all share it. They have to by law. And they, and they talk about, you know, all oh, your party affiliation, you know, you don't want this shared with the Chinese government. The Chinese government can't touch me. They can't touch you unless you're watching from China. Um, well done on breaking through the Great Firewall. Uh, <laughs> see it from space. The, from Elon Musk's car. <laughs> the, 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 the bottom line here is many companies are collecting and selling your information the governments that are using information like your party political affiliations and things like that yeah the, the Chinese government censor anybody that talks and, and it, it even mentions this in Skypixel which is a service on the DJI where you can upload your stuff to it mentions that you know you can't use um, any language in there against the CCP, the, the Chinese People's Party. Uh, I, I don't know if you've tried uploading a video onto any social media in the past two years criticising any government's handling of the coronavirus um, or questioning the eff eff efficacy of the vaccine. Uh, you are censored. And some people have even had visits from the police and have had hassle from the police just for questioning such things. So while we pretend that the Chinese government is this evil entity that uh, holds its people down and, and all this blah, 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 so is yours, whatever country you're from. If you're in Austria or Australia, you know, 
they're they're the worst countries. Um, but Canada, Jesus, Canada as well, you know. Um, and some states in America have been harsh on it, but well, overall, you know, um, it's we're, we're all suppressed. The difference between our government here in the UK and maybe yours in the US or France or, or wherever you are, the major difference is the Chinese government are actually quite open about everything they do. And they say, you've got a social credit score, you you are monitored, you will be restricted. They're very open. In my country, you don't get told the rules, you just get punished. So they're all doing the same. And they all suppress freedoms the same way. My information going to China, I couldn't give a rat's ass. So below is the link to the DJI website where you can download the app directly. Um, if you want to talk about censorship and everything, you know, uh, they, they've censored RT in this country, Russia, Russia Today, we call it RT News now. And because they say that they're putting out propaganda from the Kremlin, which they do. Just like the BBC puts out propaganda from the UK government and Sky News, all of them, um, and CNN puts out propaganda of the US government. <sighs> Every country is the same. So just use the app. If they know where you are and what party you vote for, who gives a shit? It's China. I'm more worried about what my government knows about me and what they're using to suppress my freedoms here. I don't give a shit about what China are, are collecting. At least they're more honest. 